Hey friends, welcome to another video. This week we have a quick grocery haul. Ooh, this is a high protein diet. I'm around 2000 calories right now. I started looking like this and now I look like this. So we're gonna go over what we got. We are a family of two and the prices are gonna be on the screen, but I'm not, I'm sorry. Also, I have a Rottweiler if you're new here. His name is Butch and he just, he's a very whiny boy. But let's get started with this grocery haul. We went to Walmart and Costco. So we're gonna start on the Walmart side. Uh, some of these things are for my wife, not for me. So like these Cheez-Its, these are not for me. I probably won't eat any of them. Also this cereal is for her, but cereal makes a great granola for yogurt instead of granola. It's like a lower calorie option. And then we're gonna have brats. So we have the 80 calorie buns. Um, and then mix-ins for my Ninja Creamy. We got the peanut butter sandwich cookies. They're like Nutter Butter, but like $2 cheaper. Three bananas, because I'm the only one that eats them. Getting more than three bananas, they're just gonna go bad. Then I got two cans. We have two cans of chicken. I like making a very simple chicken salad for lunch, and then I eat that with usually pretzel thins. We have a red pepper and the tiniest little zucchini, because we're gonna have a chicken skewer for dinner with pineapples, so like a, a barbecue pineapple chicken skewer skewer, like a Hawaiian thing. I'm excited for that. Here are the brats. They didn't have any Johnsonville, so the weather's getting up warmer. So I'm guessing that's, you know, everybody had the same idea as I did. These are not super low calorie, so you have to be careful with these. But if you just work them into your diet, you're like you're fine. You can work any of these foods into your diet. If you wanted to eat Cheez-Its, you can eat Cheez-Its. You just got to work it in. Oh, I didn't touch the sugar-free syrup. Now this syrup is 15 calories for two tablespoons. I really like the five calorie one, but this is all they had and I didn't wanna go searching for the other one. So we're just gonna make do with the great value syrup. And then I found this chicken on clearance. I grabbed it whenever I find um, marked down meat. I grab it because it freezes really well and you gotta save money and blah, 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 blah. Then, Let's see here, oh yes, tuna. They had tuna on clearance and these packets are a great way to get some easy low calorie protein. My favorite is the buffalo, 70 calories, 15 grams of protein. Second favorite is definitely the um, jalapeno. I don't know if you're sensing a theme here, but I like spessa things. Um, and then the sun-dried tomato basil is also really good. I've never seen this one before. It's 80 calories with only 12 grams of protein, but I thought I would try it just to mix it up. And then Caitlin has a cold, so she has, we got cold cold medicine for her, and she swears by these. You stick up your nose and you kind of like breathe it, you know, like sniff, and it clears out your nostrils. Really? It clears out your nostrils. Do you want this right now? You want, here you go. <laughs> So whenever I see these on clearance for like a dollar, I grab them because they they last forever and they're such a good snack. On to Costco. I was gonna get the Pure Protein protein bars for like $23, uh, but then the Fit Crunch ones were on sale. In this economy, y'all know, if you know, you know, these are actually really good. The pure protein ones, the pure protein ones, they have 20 grams of protein with like 190 and lower calories, but these taste closer to a candy bar. Then they they had the fair life, but they hid it. They weren't with all the other protein uh, drinks. And here's the thing. You know when you walk into the store and they have like all the stuff out like that's on sale right when you walk in, there's like that aisle. They had the premier protein shakes on there for a price of $29. And I almost picked it up right there because they're like, oh, it must be on sale. It was not on sale at all. Fairlife is about the same price, but this is a much better chocolate protein shake than the Premier Protein. It's 30 grams of protein, and I think it might be less calories too, if I remember correctly. 150 calories, I think I think it's really close. I think Premier Protein is around 160. Uh, I have said before that it had like a fishy smell to the bottle. That was like the first time I got these and I've never smelled that smell after. The smelly smell that smells smelly. Um, I haven't smelled the smell since. So this is a new thing I have not bought. 
I am getting sick of the way I'm getting protein and I wanted to try to get some jerky because I do like jerky on occasion and this was the best macros and it comes in individual packages. I feel like whenever I buy a big pack of jerky, it dries out. It's just not the same. Even if you close it up, even if you put it in a Ziploc bag, it just doesn't taste the same. So there's two different kinds, teriyaki and original, 90 calories each with 15 grams for the teriyaki and 14 grams of protein for the original. These are gonna be a great school snack. The only thing that I'm not too keen on is one, the price, it was kinda of expensive, and two, the packaging. There's way too much packaging, but like I said, there's just something about keeping their jerky in its original packaging and not opening it that keeps it fresh. This is new. We got fresh mozzarella snacks. I don't know if it's new to Costco, but we've never bought it. Um, I already ate one because I was hungry on the way home, but it, it has three little balls on the inside. It's kind of fun. It's kind of different. So it's just to mix it up. And I believe it's like five grams of protein. I might be wrong. Yeah, five, five grams of protein with 70 calories. So that's just a quick little snack. Like I could pair these two and that's 20 grams of protein, 140 calories. So that's pretty good. And then blueberries, blackberries, they were good prices this week. And then lastly, Greek yogurt. I love getting the Greek yogurt. I love getting the Greek yogurt at Costco because it's, this is the biggest container I can find. It is a little bit more calories though. I wanna say about um, 10 or 20 more calories for per serving, but the same amount or very similar protein. It either has the same or more protein than the stuff I'd get at Sam's Club. Um, I eat a yogurt bowl every single day, and this is just, this is gonna last me more than a week, and that's nice. I actually ate two yogurt bowls today. I could probably just live off yogurt. But this was everything for the week. I'll put the total for two, um, the two visits down here, like right there. I did buy dog food as well, but I didn't, I'm not gonna include that in the total cost. So we didn't get a lot at Costco, but it was pretty expensive based on the things that we bought because the fair life is pretty expensive and so is the dog food. Uh, the rest of the meat and everything I have already bought. Whenever I see these stickers, I don't take all of them because that's just rude, but I, I do take a couple and store them in the freezer. And then I shop from my pantry and my freezer first before I go grocery shopping. And that's how we can keep our food bill down, especially in, you know, this economy. How many times have I said that? Way too many times. But this is the grocery haul for this week. And it is the last week of the shred. And then we can start incorporating some more food in our diet and I'm excited about it. If you've made it to this point of the video, please like, consider subscribing. When I talked about the shred, what I mean is that I do like six to eight weeks of dieting, like calorie deficit, not necessarily food um, restriction, just calorie deficit, and then six to eight weeks off and I slowly raise my calories back up to maintenance. But until next time, friends, be kind to yourself. Bye.